Hello everyone, how are you? It is good to see you. Tricky, Chacha, thank you so much, you CH people, for uh, hanging out here with me, being here, ready to get started. As you can see, I, I, I've been changing a lot, as I, I put on Twitter earlier today as well, I've been thinking about how to change things, how to make things just easier, and for one, I realized I had this whole elaborate lobby set up, if you'll remember, uh, just, you know, very, very illustrated. I think I want to have something of that, but it just, it was, all of it was too busy. So I settled for this right now. Um, the, this sort of odd thing with, with me hanging around here and you being right behind me. And unfortunately, this is something I couldn't fix. Not, not this. I mean, this is also something I can't fix, but the green screen stuff. You, you can see it. It's, I, I try to work with it, but as I was saying to Cha Cha just now, as you can see uh, above here, um, I'd been a little bit late, just a couple of minutes late, because the camera kept messing up the green screen. As in, it was not working at all. And it turned out it was the helpful right light feature in Logitech that was consistently just saying, oh, oh, this, this green behind you, it's, it's, it's a little bit too green. Let's adjust that. Let's, let's make that not green. Messing up the entire green screen. Ugh. I look nothing like you imagined, and that's awesome. <laughs> I I don't know if that's a compliment, Trickily. It's I'd imagine you as a horrible person. Turns out you have a normal face. <laughs> Just kidding, though. Okay, you go to get a little bit of frame drop here because I'm gonna be starting up Witcher three. So expect frame drop. Oh, right about I don't know nowish. Oh, Chacha, no kidding, right? Right light was ruining your whole floating head shtick the other day. I knew it. It's right light is... Don't need it. Don't need it. <laughs> I'm just... Yeah, it's it's the weirdest. Oh, this is where you get your frame drops. Because I am just starting up this wonderful game in the background while we're here. So you may notice I, I switched something around here as well with the camera from before. Um, I didn't like that I couldn't use my hands. You just saw, like, my head. Just talking head. And not in the fun cha-cha way. Uh, at least now I can I get to use my hands. Because I, I, I like talking with my hands. Well, not, not like this. But, you know, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> ah, Chicky. No worry, no worry, I was just teasing you. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember, uh, what was it, Tracy's nephew, I think, uh, when he saw me for the first time, he was like, he expected me, me to be some kind of hipster, to have like the curly Q mustache and the, the, the fanciful little goatee and that kind of nonsense. Where were we, where were we? Oh! Right, for those of you catching up, um, so this is in, in uh, Blood and Wine, and um, let's see, we, we just, we're doing the main quest. Um, yeah, we were just doing the main quest, so we discovered where our prey, um, Detlaf, the, uh, the higher vampire, was hiding out, by looking into his memory. And um, what we found was that he frequently went to a bootblack, like a shoe shiner. Uh, we just got there, and that's where we continue from. So, for now, I'm level 45. So that means that level 40 quests I need done, because otherwise they give me less XP. So we'll stop the main quest again, and check out what we can do. Because you can see the Grand Master feline, manticore, etc. Um, we need those, we need that gear. This is the time to get that. So we have the treasure hunts. <laughs> Your hat, uh, hand talker too. Uh, sort of makes being just ahead quite difficult. I can imagine. Really, so what I was <laughs> said was so bitchy right when you were <laughs> It's <laughs> no problem at all. I got your buddy's here, he hasn't reached the point, ball and wine. Oh, hey, Joshua, um, have a good time, and uh, thank you for logging in, and uh, catch you later then. So, oh, so here's the thing. 
level 45 right now, so we need to do level 40 quests. So there's the Master, 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 Master. Find all the Grand Master diagrams of one Witcher's school. Or there's Night Tales. Talk to Jacob the Woodcutter. I'd love to talk to him. But here's the issue. Um, that's one quest, whereas Master, 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 Master is uh, one quest plus a couple of other ones in the Treasure Hunter. So I think that's the one I'm going to do. I'm going to find the Grandmaster Wolven Gear. That's going to be it. Hey, baby. How are you doing? Good to have you in here. Okay, let's head out. Wish your laptop could run uh, The Witcher 3. Why don't you get an astral desktop as one of the first games? It's it's such a good game. It is such an amazingly good game. I I love it. I'm so happy I get to be back in on this. But yeah, I, I have no doubt that uh, Tracy will be able to feel your pain there, Chicky. When it comes to uh, not having a PC that can run certain games. Someone placed an illusion here. Oh, hello. Good thing that I started exploring. Interesting. Oh, hello. Casus Fudis. <laughs> Just talk for for three hours. Hey, baby, I don't know what happened in the meantime. Lots of things can happen, you know. <laughs> After all, um, what are you? What are you starting up, baby? Skyrim. In my grave, you will not find the likeness of the man who once lived. I gave my heart, soul, and body to nightly craft, which you remember as a knight. Symbol of chivalry is a naked sword, and that symbol rests above me. So I defended my honor, my friends, and my heart. So it was closer to me than a brother. The sword th that was never stained by the blood of an innocent man let this let it rest on the stone through the ages. Whoops. Sorry. Guess uh, that's a little bit out of the question. Hey, mighty Sid. How are you doing? Good to see you in here again. Uh, you logged in, fortunately, at a good time, mighty Sid. Um... I haven't really advanced anywhere from where you saw me yesterday. Just booted up and um, I'm exploring a little bit. Oh, that's where we are. Decaying bones. This is where the Kikamoth were. Tunneled into the grave. You have the PC laptop is trying to stream from Mac. Oof. Yeah, that that does not work well. Streaming from a laptop in general is um, is difficult because streaming is uh, very intensive for a CPU and laptops generally just don't do as well. They're really just meant for working and because um, they, in general, they just can't run the ventilation. If they have the hardware that you need, they often just don't have the ventilation needed to actually take the heat away. Which means that you can fry a laptop just using that. There we go. Okay, so we are on the scavenger hunt. And we're supposed to go to an archaeological expedition. Yep, might is it. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Oh, we're supposed to go there? Now that is interesting. That is exactly where yesterday I, I commented that we should go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as uh, Magic Coffee Queen is saying, uh, she recently got her PC together and now I lost her to Skyrim. <laughs> it's okay. It is perfectly okay. Nothing like seeing somebody really enjoy a game. Just really have fun with something and relax. Scholar's pitched camp here. Should look around. 
Well, I guess I found where they pitched camp. Student loans, credit card bills, no kidding tricky. You don't need to tell me about student loans. I will be paying those off for the next 15 years. Yes, yes, I saw the quest thingy. It's just, you know, loot. Oh, hello. Loot, glorious loot. Isabel Duchamp. Ah, oh, that's Isabel. That's the Isabel we heard about yesterday. <laughs> Entirely my fault. <laughs> Logbook of archaeological expedition in the guidance of Isabel Duchamp. So this was the person that the... Um, what was it again? The, the jealous professor was hunting down because she was outstripping him in their field. Situation is underwritten by Oxenford Academy. Its goal is to study the ancient Elven rules at Termes and subsequently locate and find a way into the underground chambers beneath them using the purple ruby of Ad Ginvel. Huh. Tinsail advises against entering the ruins. As a precaution, we had a Witcher, which advises us to end the expedition. But it's canard about an ancient curse. Canard being a duck. Hold on, hold on. The Witcher died in here? My boyfriend lost me to Stardew Valley. Now to get a laptop to run, he bought it for me. That that is that is pretty cool though. They were scholars. <laughs> Should have guessed the passages inside were blocked for a reason. Good thing they didn't try to go in there without a Witcher. Um, find the entrance to the chambers in the ruins? I'd imagine it'd be this. Stardew Valley, though, Chicky, that is that is a game I am expressly not playing. I want to play it. I think it'd be great. I also think I would lose hours and hours in that game. Oh, yeah, that's, that's exactly what Tracer now said. Yep. It's ridiculous. Harvest Moon were favorite games they knew this happened. Yeah, ex exactly why I think Stardew Valley is going to be amazing. All I've heard is that it is like Stardew, like a fan's like remake of Stardew Valley. And oh god, it's going to be so cool. Because I loved Harvest Moon as well. I love the uh, SNES one the best though. The original, you know? There we go. I don't know, what's your, what's your favorite Harvest Moon? Wait, where am I? Eighty hours into it, you've only had it for a month. Taking advantage of uh, summer before classes starts. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, that's sort of what I'm doing actually. I'm taking advantage of the free time before I have to get back into work again. Damn students always wanting education. Okay, so this was magic barrier. Got a bad feeling, damn it. So... Yeah, see, so this was the um, this was this purple. Did, did you, did, was, was I just the only one who saw that just now? Geralt, what have you done? Geralt, you poor man. Okay. So we're supposed to find some kind of purplish key. Look, dead people. So I imagine it'll be somewhere close by. Hello. George Herbert. No games in all ancient Greek? Checky, ancient Greek is amazing. That is beautiful. Give me a second. <sighs> 
sorry for that. If you want any fun ancient Greek, absolutely the plays and the comedies. I'm uh, brushing up on my ancient Greek again. I kid you not, I just figured, let's do something like that. This, this by the way, is a pretty cool book. Okay. <clears throat> oh look, dead people. Yeah. Dear Hadaviga, you're absolutely correct to advise against this journey. Why did the Dean of Archaeology entrust the leadership to the hands of a quadroon? Who found the Violet Ruby of Edgenvel? Me or her? You must know the Witcher has returned, after all. The ruby removed the barrier, as I held it would from the start, and allowed him to explore the interior. Can you believe the Witcher almost convinced that Duchamp to return to town to hire additional guards? We don't know what dangers are in store for us. Now there's someone who knows how to pad his billable hours. Duchamp took the idea, recalling the tale about the tomb being cursed. Yet I convinced the company not to put any stock in fairy tales. We must hurry, I said, for what if someone beats us to it and robs the elven treasury first? Because as you know, according to my translation, the most precious can mean only one thing. The lost treasure of King Divathath. And soon it shall be ours. Blood, blood, okay. Oh god, the witch was right. We should have never got in there. It's the cursed place. Barely managed to escape, crawl out, and take the ruby. Portal is closed, I'm safe, but the others. George Herbert, you swine. You making flashcards like crazy? Ah. Uh, that does help. Now, I like. Um, oh, Jackie, here's another one. Give me. Hmm, where did I. Where did I put it? Give me a second. There, there are, I couldn't find the Greek one, but there are great books. Um, there are great books available for learning Greek and Latin. I have one for the Latin. This is a Dutch children's book that they've translated into Latin. And the great thing about this, uh, Yippe said Janneke, Yippe Janneke. In Dutch, these are basically the books kids will learn to read with. And it's so emblematic in Dutch culture that there's actually the expression, if you're using too many big words, people will ask you to, to explain it to them in Yip and Janagatal, just to make it that simple. Like the, the Latin here as well. Yipus in horto ambulabat, omnium terebat, ecce autem, foramen in saipa factum conspexit non ita magnum. It's, it is incredibly easy and thereby very handy to learn a language with. Okay, okay, it, enough talking about Latin and Greek. It's time to fight. We have specters on us. I know, right, Chicky? Oh god, fellas. One at a time, thank you. There we go, there we go. Perfect. Hi there, buddy. Get get back here. Oh, change the screen. Haha, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Wasn't thinking about changing that screen in the middle there. Thank you for reminding me. Perfect. Um, in case... So, you didn't see that. Just a brief description. Um, I was absolutely amazing. Uh, nobody hit me even the once. And you should all applaud, basically. Skaparmal, good to see you again, buddy. How are you doing? Had a good day? Seems they were running for 
the exit. Ugh. Okay, let's get a torch up. Thank you for the host, baby. In case you didn't know, um, Tracy is thinking about starting streaming soon. She's just getting things set up. Do you have any idea on um, what kind of things you'd like to be streaming? Uh, any any plans on like cool games? Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna drink a potion of cat. I know it ruins the colors, but there we go. It's just too dark, and there's too many things in here. No idea what we're talking about, so we just heard y'all applaud. Well, oh, thank you very much, Kaparmal. I appreciate the support. I was just, I, I was streaming in this window for a little bit, so everyone was like, mm, okay, you know, night and fun sounds. Whoa, what? <sighs> Sectoids. Oh god, oh god, not good, not good. Oh. By the way, how are the audio levels? I checked the recordings of yesterday and I thought the audio was generally okay. I thought the voice was a little bit loud in comparison to the game. I don't know what you think. Whether I should maybe get the um, the microphone down a little. <clears throat> oh, I do notice that I should have warmed up my voice though, because uh, this is grating a little bit. Go specter oil, and I think moon dust will be a useful bomb to have. See, perfect. You know what? If we're gonna fight this many specters, I also have a, um, a decoction against them. So, Magic Golf Queen, think about streaming some Skyrim, Orangi, Alien Isolation, that kind of thing. Cool. I was actually thinking of uh, streaming Alien Isolation as well. You're good? Perfect. Thank you, baby. Let me find this. I know I have a very specific decoction which protects me against wraiths. Increase the damage dealt and decrease the damage taken against wraiths. There we go. Let's drink that. In case you're wondering, by the way, I do more damage uh, because of my my new um, mutation. I do more damage to enemies the more toxicity I have, which is an amazing idea, I think. Hey, Venom! Good to see you in there. You're streaming? I am indeed streaming. I streamed yesterday as well. Oh, hi there, buddy. Geralt, such a badass. Why didn't you get notifications? Oh. King Difathaf, here lies a father. He died so that others may live. That's uh, oddly specific. Satchel looks like it belonged to a witcher. Oh, hello, that is, that is three diagrams already. Grandmaster gear, though. Hmm, Master Tensail. 
I tried to sell wise old Vitamir, what he gave me. I uh, tried to tell, would barely be enough for one silver sword. Mm hmm. Check the area out, 